Hello all, this is Emmerich from metaldetectingforum.co.uk Today I'm going to be taking a look at this handy little app that was actually created by our very own forum member uh, called Broadsword. Now you, this app is completely free on iPhone or uh, Andro an Android phone but on Android phones you will have to have your software at least 2.1 or over updated. I initially had a problem with this phone myself um, and now I've updated dated the, the software that's just been released this app's working fine so if you were in the same boat you tried this app and it wasn't working try updating the uh, version of Android on your phone and give it another go because it's likely to work now when you look at the uh, initially look at the screen you can see it looks like it's just for mind lab machines but in fact it's not regardless of what machine you actually own you can use this app now there are certain things on it that are for the MindLab eTrack. So for those owners, we'll just go through what we've got, those additional features, is a manual patterns and mode. Now I think if you're a MindLab eTrack owner, just to download the app for the manual is good in itself, especially if you've lost your manual. Uh, let's open a full manual. So you've actually got a full MindLab eTrack manual on your phone. How cool is that? and over here we've got the patterns so at close hand you've got all the default patterns there and on the last menu for the e-track you've got the various modes now how it actually works now if you're out in the field and you find something interesting you want to record it all you have to do is click on the add new find button at this stage you can see the title you can add and I'm going to put gold and in description I'm just going to put to coin, that's wishful thinking I know coin, press the back button and I shall have to take a photo of this lovely find and this lovely find is not quite a gold coin, it's a 20 pence piece uh, so I'll put it in view so you can see so there's the 20p piece and I'm going to take a photo and then no time at all I have the save button to save it, I shall put that back on view, put the 20p out of the way, and put that there. And now, you can see I've taken that. Now at that stage, all I have to do is the add new find button again, and it will add it to now no, a new note enabled, okay. And then what happens now is take me back to the main screen. That's basically all there is to it, and it's recorded it. So if I go back to the gallery, I can see that I put some finds earlier, so this is my mock-up um, collection of finds. Uh, which has grown into sort of quite a catalogue here and all I have to do if I want to check out some details of a vine you click on it and this part here could be filled with as, as much detail as you want with your find uh, you've actually if you've got a GPS enabled on your phone you can even lo accurately locate where you found it and on here you can see it's got a little little mine lab tab there and that's where I found the coin which is actually where I live but don't look too close um, so we'll go back. There are some other little functions, like a little, there's even a little compass there. Not sure where you'd use that, but hey ho, it could come in handy. Um, and you could mail the picture off to yourself or to a friend. And that's about it. All in all, you can see it's a handy little app, and if you are interested in downloading this, the best thing about it is it's completely free, and you can get this from the Google Play. Uh, shop online or you can get it from the iPhone app store and it like I say it's completely free if you have any problems with it I'm sure uh, Martin aka Broadsword on the forums can help you out uh, with any issues and he's probably be doing some updates at a later date um, and that's about it uh, if you found the video of any use whatsoever please press the like button or ultimately subscribe to the channel for any updates thank you so much all this is Emmerich signing out cheers